Today I aim to present um, my perspective, my experience with, uh, as, a, as a researcher, as a scientist, um, how um, coincidentally open science projects inspired me initially uh, to learn about science and, um, uh, and uh, in turn now have the opportunity to be involved with some similar uh, open science projects as a, as a researcher here at Florida State University. Um, uh, uh, integrating my um, experiences, background, perspectives, um, as well as um, uh, connecting with uh, uh, with uh, with students and uh, broader community with with regards to our um, uh, different uh, areas of interest. So I'll, I begin with uh, uh, sharing a little bit about the uh, TOPS program, a program involved with uh, with NASA, uh, Transform Open Science Initiative, which. Uh, is related to NASA's many different um, program directors. So uh, I, I'm primarily a researcher uh, with support with NASA. Um, I'll, I'll provide an overview of some of the uh, NASA programs um, I'm familiar with, and then specifically uh, the projects I'm involved with with NASA. So uh, uh, in short, um, NASA is a US federal agency that has a number of um, different uh, uh, program areas focusing on uh, a number of different subjects, from aeronautics to exploration systems to science to space operations to space and technology. With NASA, uh, uh, aeronautic and space administration having um, um, uh, specific uh, uh, project areas. Um, and in turn, each of these project areas have um, uh, additional areas of focus. And here, um, in, in short and brief, um, provide uh, some background and further examples of, um, of these different directorates. Uh, aeronautics, for example, um, uh, includes NASA's efforts in air transportation, avi aviation industry. Um, if you ever were, uh, if, if for those that have uh, been on a plane before, NASA had uh, likely a um, involvement um, in, in the design, development, um, uh, manufacturing uh, of, of aircraft. That, that and, uh, more recently or uh, uh, historically, um, NASA also has. Um, uh, uh, areas involving exploration systems, uh, which include the ARMIS program that um, uh, Cassie just shared moments, uh, a few moments ago, which include the, uh, the design, development, and, uh, and building of uh, the different uh, components of that. Um, an example, current example, uh, 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 includes the International Space Station, which is a um, orbiting spacecraft, uh, a satellite that uh, travels around the Earth every 90 minutes. Um, has, uh, has, has had uh, people living on board the, the International Space Station for, uh, for decades now. Um, took uh, many, many years to uh, design, build, and launch and, uh, be, and be assembled in space. Um, and the ARMIS program is, um, uh, and there have been uh, projects even before the ISS that, um, uh, that, that led to the, uh, the support and development of ISS. Um, but building on, on the history, the, the, the experiences from that um, is Artemis, which I'll uh, elaborate more detail later, but uh, is a continuation of our space exploration adventure to the moon and around the moon and beyond. Um, and related with that include uh, space operations. Um, uh, space operations, um, as, the, as the term suggests, includes any type of activity uh, in space, um, uh, primarily low Earth orbit, which just refers to the area um, immediately uh, 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 outside um, Earth. Uh, and the International Space Station is an example of um, uh, a, uh, a spacecraft that uh, is involved with um, um, uh, space operations. Um, and the International Space Station, in turn, is uh, not just a, um, um, a habitat uh, for uh, that's orbiting our planet, uh, a satellite, um, uh, and has people on board, but uh, is, actually, is also a, um, uh, is a uh, environment um, that enables us to do some incredible science and incredible um, uh, space technology development, um, with uh, space being a very different environment from here on planet Earth, um, having uh, different um, uh, uh, environmental factors. Uh, two examples include um, there's a, a, a different gravitational uh, a, a field on the International Space Station. Individuals and um, uh, materials and uh, uh, items on board the International Space Station because of its um, uh, the way it's traveling um, experience a lack of gravity. Um, so, for example, um, uh, astronauts when they're on board the space station, they would be uh, uh, they are floating. Um, and in turn, um, with them specifically, uh, 
uh, cause them to develop uh, various uh, adaptations to that uh, very different environment. Um, and in turn, um, there's been, so the International Space Station actually uh, is a, a national, uh, a national lab, in the same way that the Florida State University's uh, MAG lab is a national lab. So it, it is, uh, IS is designated also as a, um, as a um, uh, resource to conduct uh, science and technology development. So I, uh, I'll share a little bit more um, uh, with my specific experience with, uh, uh, with uh, in, in the context of science, but um, NASA's science mission directed includes um, topics such as earth science, um, uh, planetary science, so studying uh, uh, Venus, Mars, the additional planets in our solar, sy solar system, as well as exoplanets beyond our solar system. Biological and physical science, the, the area of research I'm uh, specifically involved with, space biology, studying how um, when people, when biology, um, travel in space and are exposed to uh, the unique environment of space, um, uh, how uh, they, uh, how that, um, how those um, uh, organisms and biology potentially adapt. Um, and then there's also heliophysics and astrophysics. Astrophysics focusing on um, like the Hubble Space Telescope, studying the, the distant stars and galaxies in, in our universe, um, and galactic cosmic background radiation. Um, and heliophysics, so studying how the, the, the behavior of our, of our sun, for example, and, uh, uh, and uh, its uh, solar cycle, and uh, how, um, uh, and space weather, how uh, uh, solar flares may influence and affect um, uh, 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 us here on Earth. Um, and so in, in space technology, uh, we, with the International Space Station being a, an example, again, uh, requiring the, the, the development and design of um, harder materials, um, uh, structures that can sustain being in a, uh, in a space environment, um, the International Space Station, an environment where temperatures go from uh, 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 negative uh, uh, a couple hundred degrees uh, below uh, uh, zero Celsius to um, a couple hundred degrees uh, above uh, zero Celsius every 90 minutes. Um, so there are huge temperature fluctuation gradients and it's a vacuum, there's no atmosphere, um, there's radiation, there's a constant um, exposure to uh, 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 particulates, uh, micrometeorites, um, uh, traveling at very, very high speeds that um, uh, uh, collide with, uh, with the space station. Um, and in turn, it's um, uh, it's remote, so it's it's in space. It's not uh, unfortunately outside our building here. And uh, if there is a uh, maintenance uh, uh, required for that, I couldn't uh, very easily walk outside the building and uh, take care of a uh, uh, whatever maintenance issue there may be. Um, uh, and it's been in, in space for uh, almost uh, 20 years now. Um, so it's been an incredible um, uh, platform for uh, a number of different te technology. Uh, uh, development uh, opportunities as well um, that in turn have led to a number of um, spin-offs to um, to uh, uh, to earth so there's uh, uh, NASA uh, um, about a year ago I believe released um, uh, a library of patents that um, a few universities now have uh, uh, access to Florida State being one in terms of all the technologies and um, the inventions that were created through uh, uh, through uh, uh, technology innovation and, and science uh, with NASA's uh, program. Um, so TOPS is, is a initiative uh, uh, through NASA uh, that, to, um, that aims uh, to provide a platform for open science practices. And it, as Cassie shared earlier, uh, it, uh, uh, NASA declared 2023 as the, as the year of open science. And uh, NASA has highlighted it as a, uh, a five-year journey, so to speak, um, but uh, likely uh, uh, beyond uh, that as well, uh, with the intent of accelerating major scientific discoveries, um, a, a, as well as uh, uh, broaden participation uh, uh, to, of, of um, NASA programs and, and opportunities and resources to historically excluded communities, as well as, uh, incre as uh, another um, uh, mechanism to increase our understanding and adoption of um, open science principles and, uh, and uh, techniques um, in the context of, uh, of NASA's uh, projects and uh, opportunities. Um, with the objective to broaden uh, participation, increase accessibility to knowledge, and in turn embrace new technology that can respond to these, cha these changes at scale. Uh, some of the examples I uh, had uh, shared uh, 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 in brief um, with the example I gave with regards to NASA's um, uh, uh, different uh, director programs, um, through, but through the mechanism of, of NASA's uh, open science uh, program, which I'll share um, um, a little bit about in more detail from, from uh, uh, my experience as well. Um, and in turn, NASA's uh, TOPS program has released um, uh, uh, resources uh, 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 on uh, in, in similar subject matter that um, 
uh, have been shared uh, by the previous speakers and uh, uh, additional organizations as well. Uh, one example being a, a data management plan um, in the context of uh, uh, NASA's requirements to archiving data, software publications, um, and uh, uh, eligibility funding um, in the context of uh, NASA's uh, 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 specific projects. So how, how, uh, how am I involved with these open science uh, initiatives? So I, um, having um, shared a little bit about uh, NASA and, and uh, the TOPS program, um, and, and thank you, Cassie, for the introduction, I thought I'd share a little bit my, about my uh, academic uh, uh, background and training and experience that um, have, uh, uh, have uh, uh, guided my perspective towards, um, towards research and uh, open science. Um, and uh, I, I would well, like to share it uh, uh, with, uh, in this context. Uh, I'm also a first-generation academic. Uh, I'm the first in my family to go to college. Uh, I was also a Paul Grant Title I student. Uh, it was uh, academics that um, really opened up uh, a whole new world uh, in many ways for me um, to, uh, to see and uh, experience uh, uh, subjects and, and projects that um, uh, I only imagined at, uh, at, at one point. Um, and um, in turn, uh, I'm also uh, 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 first in my family to be a scientist, first in my family to be an engineer. So for me, it was a um, academic is a wonderful, wonderful way to learn what um, uh, what science was or what an engineer was, um, having an aptitude for these subjects, um, but not uh, uh, necessarily having the guidance to know what uh, a scientist uh, is was or uh, what an engineer, uh, et cetera, is was. Um, so that's where um, uh, uh, my early academic exposure with the specific uh, training experience I had um, really provided me with, with guidance um, uh, and led to my uh, 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 specialties in interdisciplinary research and engineering um, and being involved with uh, projects that have, uh, uh, we've had the wonderful opportunity to, to travel through the National Space Station and also uh, ground-based analog uh, systems where we simulate um, uh, different conditions of spaceflight simulate uh, a lack of gravity, um, radiation exposure uh, uh, through experiments um, uh, at our lab at various uh, uh, NASA facilities like Brookhaven National Laboratory, uh, studying fundamentally how our, uh, uh, our uh, biology adapts to that space, uh, to these um, environments, um, but also providing a new perspective to approaching uh, medical research as well um, in the context of how. Um, uh, 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 gravity, um, a uh, environmental factor that uh, I'm setting up, if I were to sit down, would have ha an instantaneous effect on my uh, uh, biological processes, um, uh, but, and, and, but uh, we can't really study that here on Earth. Uh, the only place we can truly study that is in, in space. Um, and I'll uh, elaborate a little bit more on that detail uh, uh, of the specifics of that later. Um, and in turn, also uh, 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 increasing our access. So, from my, from my own experience, uh, uh, recognizing the, the wonderful opportunity that um, academic uh, projects have, um, uh, but uh, broadening that to uh, uh, through open science mechanisms to a broader community of, uh, of students and young professionals. Um, uh, that I'll share in more detail of a um, ongoing open science project that we have. Um, so, for me, I'll, uh, I'll I'll start a little bit about um, uh, my. Um, uh, how uh, 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 specific experiences um, guided my, um, in turn, open science uh, projects, where uh, I recall in, in middle school a, uh, an opportunity. So uh, Cassie mentioned a, uh, a NASA center, the Katherine Johnson Independent Verification Validation Facility. Uh, I grew up in Morgantown, West Virginia. Uh, the IBMV facility was uh, uh, driving 30 minutes away from, from Morgantown, West Virginia. And uh, uh, I recall a middle school event where uh, NASA uh, 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 civil servants uh, visited our middle school program, and uh, and uh, uh, shared how uh, shared that this uh, center existed, and shared what uh, NASA and uh, what uh, a prelude what NASA engineers uh, did, and what uh, uh, kind of projects uh, and, and were um, at NASA and maybe and learning about the opportunity to get involved as a uh, as a high school intern um, at uh, at this NASA center, and. Um, and I had the, the, the wonderful support and opportunity to, um, and later in high school, to, um, uh, to be an intern at this uh, uh, facility, be involved with um, uh, computational programming uh, models, simulating um, primarily spacecraft rockets, um, uh, 
the uh, uh, space launch system that uh, launched uh, Artemis One rocket that launched um, just last year uh, was uh, when I was a uh, uh, NASA intern called the uh, uh, Ares Five rocket. Um, so I was that was um, I, had a, I was on with a different project, Ares One rocket, but um, that was my first project introduction of um, engineering uh, subject matter, but ha hands-on experience and um, uh, and uh, at the high school level. Um, in terms of uh, uh, introducing, being introduced to uh, computer science and engineering subject matter um, at the high school level. And then um, continuing uh, my education at West Virginia University, um, uh, being involved with coursework um, uh, in my uh, mechanical engineering and biology courses, but also being involved, actively involved with uh, research projects. Uh, uh, for me, uh, supported by NASA, um, including the design development of a, uh, of a project that um, uh, fluid mechanics focus, um, with the theme being focusing how um, uh, similar different states of gravity um, have an effect on how fluids behave, and, and thinking about ways to uh, design systems to control how uh, fluids um, uh, behave. Uh, and we used uh, we, uh, our idea: we're using nanoparticles, um, and I'll uh, I'll share why nanoparticles in a moment. But um, um, uh, but uh, so we had the op uh, uh, um, uh, we as undergraduates have the option to, to uh, the picture on, on the top right um, is of us in front of the, the aircraft. Behind us is, um, uh, is a DC-9 aircraft that um, NASA uses to simulate um, uh, differences of gravity. It goes in a parabolic flight, goes up and down, and, uh, 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 and everyone on board, um, experiments included, um, experience uh, short durations of uh, micro, lunar, and Martian gravity, depending on the, on the uh, time of the, the, of the flight. Um, and we also experienced um, uh, those, so that was a very unique uh, experience in many ways. Um, but um, uh, uh, and then, but to see and be involved with these research projects and uh, apply uh, uh, the uh, our experience in the course um, led to uh, uh, additional uh, inspiration in the context of well, um, uh, here I am uh, floating for uh, 20 seconds. This is a uh, uh, certainly a very unique experience. Um, now, uh, astronauts are also, uh, this is happening to astronauts as well, um, and they're traveling in space, but um, they're in space for longer periods of time. So I, I, uh, uh, we were curious, well, um, what happens with um, astronauts? Uh, do they experience the similar um, um, uh, adaptation that we experience in a very short period of time? And that experience, um, uh, that exposure uh, inspired me to think about the question of what, um, what happens to biology, what happens to uh, uh, people when they travel in the space, um, which uh, connected with my uh, research interests in, in biology and medicine. So I was a, Cassie mentioned, I was a McNair Scholar, a uh, Royal McNair Scholar program um, uh, supporting first generation academics, um, uh, individuals from um, underrepresented backgrounds uh, in, in academics. Um, and the, the, the research opportunity through this program um, uh, 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 enable my experience uh, in nano uh, uh, technology, nanoparticle uh, research, um, and it was that uh, biomedical research experience and that uh, exposure to nanoparticles, which what which was what uh, led to um, the interdisciplinary project um, uh, with regards to our uh, microgravity uh, research projects, uh, and uh, enable that connection to be to be made across uh, uh, very different disciplines. Um, and to uh, uh, tackle a uh, very relevant um, uh, 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 problem that uh, NASA had um, in the context of, uh, of uh, in, in, uh, with uh, space operations, with uh, missions to the moon and beyond, um, uh, by uh, the uh, interdisciplinary uh, projects that uh, we as a team uh, approached together. Um, and in short, um, have continued uh, uh, these efforts um, uh, as, a, as, a, as a graduate trainee at Texas A&M, and now as a, a, formerly as a postdoctoral fellow, and now as a, as a research faculty here at Florida State, um, where we have uh, uh, soon uh, a study investigating micro, lunar, uh, Martian gravity adaptations um, of a number of different uh, biological systems. Um, uh, a very comprehensive study, also one of the first studies exploring um, uh, differences in, in physiological adaptations with, uh, with women and men, um, with uh, uh, 
uh, with the next year, Artemis II rocket, uh, we have um, uh, the first woman and uh, person of color traveling to the moon. Um, so these studies are uh, uh, very much tied to um, understanding what um, happens now that we have um, uh, a broad diversity of individuals now traveling in space as well. Um, and uh, I, I, so in, in summarizing um, my um, uh, academic and research experiences, uh, my observation of, um, of uh, the uh, progress um, uh, as a undergraduate trainee uh, and now as a research faculty, faculty in terms of research was um, um, uh, and, and, and tied to also uh, technology. Uh, available to us to conduct research. One example I wish to share is um, not my field, but um, uh, a, uh, a, a relevant uh, 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 topic is uh, in the field of metagenomics, for example, where just a history of uh, the field of uh, metagenomics, um, some of the which is the study of uh, uh, microbes um, in, in different environments um, and the, the genetic adaptations of these microbes, um, and this as an example of how uh, technology has led to the, uh, the increase of, of uh, our knowledge and then also um, uh, publication of, of, uh, of findings as well with uh, some of the early uh, uh, metagenomic uh, mi microbial research. Um, so starting um, uh, in the 1600s on the left and then the arrow uh, moving from left to right to, um, to uh, uh, modern day. Um, some of the early findings um, by uh, Dr. Lewinhook, uh, putting observations of microbiota uh, uh, in, in principle, uh, and then some additional studies, uh, culturing microbes um, and understanding their, uh, and learning uh, their components, um, uh, and very much tied to also the technology that was available uh, throughout uh, uh, as, as uh, history progressed um, in terms of uh, DNA sequencing, PCR, uh, and then different uh, variations of PCR, um, and then uh, because of the uh, the uh, uh, incredible breadth of, of uh, knowledge we are acquiring, um, uh, subdisciplines uh, um, being developed, uh, uh, focusing on uh, specific uh, uh, subject matter within um, within my, um, uh, microbiology. Um, and then this continued with uh, with uh, more sequencers uh, being available and uh, uh, larger projects um, uh, uh, continuing to uh, develop and uh, and uh, 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 leading to uh, projects in more areas across the world. Uh, in turn, um, understanding uh, microbes at um, uh, in different geographic locations, um, and in turn. Uh, increasing our uh, global understanding of uh, microbiology. Um, and this uh, uh, figure here illustrates uh, this uh, increase in our knowledge um, in terms of publications from 1998 to 2015 um, with, uh, in relation to uh, se uh, sequencing technology available. Uh, and the green line here denotes the, the increase in, in uh, release um, as, uh, as the technology further developed as well. Um, so what about in the context of citizen science? Um, I learned that uh, citizen science is also, um, uh, in principle, has been uh, an, an area of, um, um, of uh, uh, that's uh, existed for some time. Um, so in its, uh, its uh, uh, the, the specific um, definition of the term uh, has, has evolved and uh, has uh, become more specific. But um, even throughout history, there have been individuals uh, uh, that um, have been involved with uh, science experiments that were not uh, classically trained uh, scientists, uh, but were um, uh, fascinated by subject matter and con had uh, contributions in, in various ways. For example, um, uh, Henry David Thoreau uh, had uh, some observations of plant and animal uh, life cycles at, uh, in, in Concord, Massachusetts, um, uh, and had uh, 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 details of this um, written down. Um, and then uh, 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 the U.S. National Weather Service in 1870, uh, as uh, uh, they began to make a forecast, um, uh, they invited um, amateur meteorologists uh, that had uh, used instruments such as rain gauges and made some observations to include with um, the, the uh, data that the U.S. National Weather Service was collecting. Um, 
And then um, a few different additional examples include um, uh, the, in 1986, the Southern African Bird Atlas Project uh, in, uh, in um, South Africa uh, relied on the observations of thousands of citizens uh, to um, uh, catalog, to observe and catalog um, uh, the, uh, the um, environment uh, and the different um, birds in that environment, um, which the project uh, published uh, later in 1992 and uh, uh, was um, much larger than uh, and continues to be uh, a citizen science initiative um, to date. Uh, the, the term citizen science specifically was uh, was uh, uh, phrased in 1996 um, by uh, uh, Lab and Cornell, um, and uh, uh, and then uh, continuing citizen science type of initiatives um, uh, to, uh, since uh, uh, to date uh, include. Um, uh, a few additional examples, um, going back to uh, Henry David Thoreau's uh, historical records, uh, scientists at Boston University uh, collected those and um, uh, invited additional citizens in, in the area to submit their own observations of uh, the similar uh, subject matter that uh, Henry David Thoreau were, was collecting um, to expand upon uh, 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 that, um, that citizen science type initiative. Um, and. Um, uh, and, and then uh, now with uh, and, and with the uh, 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 explosion of technology and um, and uh, computers and uh, the internet, um, uh, those uh, similar to my metagenomics example, those um, uh, citizen type projects have also um, uh, increased and scaled. With uh, one another example being in 2013, uh, hundreds of citizen scientists so since uh, so since 2013, hundreds of citizen science projects are uh, ongoing across the world with uh, millions of people uh, participating in different capacities. So I'll, I'll um, provide some more specific examples of that uh, in a moment, but. Um, one example I'd like to share just from my um, uh, younger days is uh, I recall uh, uh, one science project that, uh, that I uh, uh, learned about was uh, SETI, uh, Search for Extraterrestrial uh, uh, Intelligence, um, uh, uh, which was a, uh, a project that um, uh, anyone with a computer uh, could install a, a screensaver uh, and have that screensaver running whenever the computer was idle. Uh, and when that screensaver was running, it would uh, collect um, uh, data from uh, SETI's uh, server, which were collecting through radio telescopes uh, information uh, from the universe and uh, observing if there were uh, potential signals from uh, from um, uh, 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 from um, other planets, other solar systems um, that were indicative of, of life. Um, and SETI developed a platform. It's been uh, around since uh, the uh, 1990s earlier, uh, uh, likely, um, but um, uh, uh, individuals could uh, install a screensaver, collect information from SETI servers, and then the uh, citizen scientists' computers would, in the background, uh, 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 analyze and uh, and uh, um, and uh, analyze the data, and then share that back with uh, uh, SETI servers to. Uh, to make additional progress with regards to the, the research activities where um, that uh, SETI was uh, ongoing. Um, um, and in turn, um, uh, uh, so uh, highlighting the, the, uh, the option that technology provides us in terms of, um, of, uh, of projects. Um, uh, 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 we are from uh, rotary uh, telephones and uh, analog uh, cameras and, uh, uh, and, and uh, uh, and uh, notebooks and, and pens to now uh, computers and iPads and uh, and cell phones and uh, 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 digital cameras that um, have incredible uh, uh, processing power. Um, and in turn, uh, uh, example is uh, in terms of processing power. This is a picture of uh, NASA's uh, mission control uh, the, from the Apollo program, um, and still a uh, a rotor phone uh, still present. Um, uh, and uh, 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 computers that um, have uh, less processing power than uh, 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 any uh, individual's uh, uh, any individual's phone like that uh, each of you all are carrying, um, but um, uh, with uh, this project um, uh, in the context of Artemis II, sending individuals uh, next year to Nunavut with the Apollo program with technology back in the 1960s and 1970s. Uh, uh, less processing power than uh, processing power in our in our phones, uh, our modern phones, um, sent uh, uh, individuals to the to the moon and back. Um, uh, 
Uh, on that note, um, with regards to processing power and uh, computational um, uh, uh, techniques, um, now we also have uh, um, new uh, techn technological platforms like uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence uh, 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 platforms, which provide um, uh, another set of tools uh, uh, through software and, uh, and computers um, to uh, organize and, um, and aggregate and, uh, and uh, learn uh, large data sets. Um, in just an overview of, of uh, machine learning, um, with the concept of machine learning, um, in terms of um, uh, theory behind it, uh, in terms of logic and, uh, uh, and uh, syntax, um, again, um, uh, 1700s, 1800s, um, with Ada Lovelace uh, uh, laying the foundation for the first uh, algorithm. Um, then Alan Turing uh, developing a machine that could uh, uh, the, the prototype of a uh, of a computer. Uh, to fast forward to the uh, 2000s with um, neural networks being developed that um, um, simulate uh, 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 the behavior of uh, of, of neurons. Um, and uh, later Google developing uh, neural larger scale unsupervised neural network that could be. Um, Data being inputted to the systems and then interpreting and uh, and uh, aggregating these uh, data sets um, uh, based off uh, unique patterns that were uh, embedded within the data sets. Um, to now uh, 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 another example being AlphaFold One, uh, a uh, in biomedical context, a technology that could uh, that has the ability to um, predict uh, protein structures, to, to supplement and uh, complement. Um, um, as just a few examples, um, uh, uh, research uh, tools and technologies that uh, are available to us. And um, the, the SETI example aside, uh, one of my uh, first um, citizen science projects was with uh, uh, NASA's uh, Hubble um, Space Telescope, which was a uh, telescope launched in the uh, uh, late uh, 1980s, early 1990s. Um, which um, uh, was uh, an incredible advancement to understanding of astrophysics, um, capturing images from the, uh, the, the uh, uh, billions of light years away from, uh, from us here, uh, and uh, uh, seeing uh, the formation of, uh, of galaxies, uh, pre, uh, galaxy precursors, seeing the formation of stars, um, and aggregating thousands of, of images uh, that um, uh, uh, were uh, eventually uh, placed into a platform where um, uh, uh, citizens could access these images and support NASA's uh, initiatives and, and, uh, and projects uh, with the Hubble Space Tele Telescope, for example, in the form, in the context of identifying images in, in terms of category, in terms of um, if there are stars, if there are galaxies, if they were um, doing some data quantification. So uh, an another example of, um, of a um, citizen science uh, type project. Um, that um, uh, uh, had a um, uh, uh, grew my understanding of citizen science and uh, led to my uh, collaboration with uh, with a um, with a group uh, of um, NASA investigators with our own uh, citizen science project called um, Space Open Life Science Team for International Collaborative Exploration, uh, with the focus being uh, space biology. Uh, investigating the, the research that has been done um, studying how biology adapts in space environment um, ever since the uh, uh, 1950s, 1960s, uh, with the early, early, early first um, days of uh, sending individuals and um, an organism in space to um, now the International Space Station and uh, just last year sending um, microbes and yeast to the um, uh, uh, beyond the, uh, the far side of the moon actually um, and studying how um, Biology in turn adapts to the uh, space flight environment, um, um, and uh, and to preface um, the uh, the methodology and approach of our open science uh, project, I'll uh, provide a little bit of context of of uh, our um, research subject matter, where as I uh, shared before, uh, uh, space environment is. Um, an environment where there's lack of gravity, there's radiation exposure, and here on Earth um, uh, we're we're exposed to uh, gravity, and gravity has a uh, direct influence in terms of how our um, our uh, biology is uh, is uh, is um, oriented and uh, um, and uh, behaves, um, and 
uh, one, one example of an organ system that um, uh, adapts to a space flight is our cardiovascular system. Um, our cardiovascular system, a uh, system that uh, transports our, uh, uh, our blood and our uh, and oxygen across our body, and uh, in turn uh, is designed to uh, 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 operate at certain, uh, certain conditions uh, at the head, uh, at our chest, at our feet, um, in line with the gravitational vector. Now, when we travel in space, the gravitational vector, uh, uh, it, it's a microgravity, so it uh, doesn't disappear, but it's much, much, much less. So in turn, uh, the uh, position of, uh, of our biological uh, components gets reoriented. Um, and in turn, the number of uh, adaptations that result from that. Um, another example I shared earlier is that uh, astronauts, um, uh, they're floating in space, so they're no longer, being, they're no longer able to walk. Um, and in turn, um, they have bone loss, they have muscle loss. Um, and in turn, their cardiovascular system adapts. Um, so from a research question, uh, we are interested in what are those observations and um, how, how, how do these um, adaptations happen? Um, and I highlighted uh, the cardiovascular system, so just to orient everyone uh, that may not um, have uh, uh, experience with this subject matter, the cardiovascular system includes the, the heart, arteries, capillaries, different parts, different components, um, lymphatics. Um, and there's been a, a number of research uh, studies uh, in, 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 in uh, different capacities done of these different parts. Um, but um, how much, uh, 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 what is our current knowledge of all these different parts of the cardiovascular system? Just one example, because I mentioned bone and muscle loss. There's also uh, vision changes that happen with astronauts. Uh, so there are a number of uh, different uh, subject matter um, uh, that uh, uh, is research in the, in the field of space biology. So I'm, about, I'm just uh, focusing on cardiovascular system for now. Um, and um, as I uh, shared before, um, uh, we have individuals on board the International Space Station traveling uh, around planet Earth every 90 minutes. Um, and they experience microgravity in uh, certain conditions. Now with the Artemis program, sending uh, individuals to the moon uh, and uh, the intent to stay on the moon, that environment is, uh, uh, is different. Though it's, it's, in, it's in space, it's different. So in turn, um, and uh, I, I share we have some ongoing studies uh, in, in relation with those um, future missions to the moon, um, but in preparing for uh, uh, projects on the moon and around the moon, um, understanding our, uh, our research to date uh, to address uh, potential unknowns or unknown unknowns that um, uh, will, may occur when we travel to the moon uh, would be uh, incredibly beneficial uh, to understand and uh, prepare for. So that was a little bit about, that was, uh, that's a little bit of uh, the motivation behind um, uh, our citizen science project, Project Solstice, uh, which um, uh, brought together uh, 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 subject matter experts uh, across the um, space biology field, um, uh, focusing on, and I, I described uh, uh, parts of the cardiovascular system, um, where uh, uh, we as a, as a community organized relevant terminology, built a library of, um, of, the, uh, of, um, of terms relevant to the specific uh, cardiovascular research questions that we were interested in, in, in organizing and, uh, and learning uh, the research progress to date. Um, with our focus being uh, uh, cardiovascular system, but also adaptations with, uh, with humans, with, uh, with rodents, uh, primates. But um, there could also be uh, studies of microbes, of plants, of, um, of, uh, of yeast. Of, uh, there's been various small organisms that have flown into the uh, space flight environment that um, uh, 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 research has also been uh, completed. And we're also um, uh, uh, focusing towards, um, towards um, uh, microgravity. Um, there are additional uh, factors in, in, in the space environment that could be uh, also uh, um, uh, uh, research as well. well and with this uh, citizen science approach, um, uh, the, uh, uh, the effects of uh, isolation, the effects of um, radiation, the effects of um, of uh, circadian rhythm changes, um, uh, depending on the, the aim of the study. Um, so uh, we uh, 
uh, led a, we uh, co-led a team effort of uh, subject matter experts, but um, uh, developed a, uh, a strategy to uh, uh, form this into a citizen science uh, type project. Um, where we uh, were enthusiastic about um, inviting um, students, young professionals um, uh, to contribute in, in uh, diverse ways uh, uh, with this project. And um, in turn, um, I, uh, there are various, um, in, in, in the uh, uh, space community, there are various um, uh, student organizations um, that uh, uh, students can involve with to learn about uh, learn about NASA, learn about uh, space projects, learn about um, what it's like to be a scientist, what it's like to be an engineer, what it's like to be uh, uh, what kind of uh, uh, research studies are ongoing. One example being uh, an organization called Students for the Exploration and Development of Space. Um, so we had reached out to uh, this organization and uh, a few others and uh, highlighting uh, with students uh, and young professionals, um, we have a, uh, a space biology uh, uh, study um, that uh, uh, we would love to have um, um, uh, uh, individuals with no previous um, uh, scientific training uh, to be involved with. Um, and, uh, and we received uh, incredible uh, enthusiasm. Um, we uh, uh, and, and, uh, uh, had a um, uh, uh, response from students that uh, I didn't, I didn't, uh, was unaware that, uh, that uh, NASA even did uh, projects that were not rocket related, that they were science uh, projects. Um, and had students from uh, all, uh, uh, from different um, uh, ranges of, uh, uh, of um, educational background from um, a community college associate level to uh, to postdocs. So we had a number of undergraduate students, graduate, uh, master's, doctoral training, um, as well as um, we had a global uh, interaction with our project. We had um, students from across North America. We had students from uh, young professionals from Europe, from Asia, from Africa, from South America, from uh, Oceania um, that were uh, involved with our study uh, in various capacities. Um, that's part of our citizen science initiative. So how so specifically? Well, first, um, uh, uh, with a number of these students, um, this was uh, the first, uh, uh, first uh, uh, NASA type project, um, first uh, uh, space biology type project, uh, 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 different, so different from, from uh, biology. Um, so um, my colleagues and I uh, developed a um, an educational platform to, to teach and, and, and show and educate um, these students about uh, different uh, subject matter relevant to uh, this project, which included a, uh, an introduction to space science, um, the history of, of space science, um, including an introduction uh, in a little bit more detail than of uh, the cardiovascular system, like I shared with you all uh, uh, moments ago. Um, uh, and and uh, uh, then in turn, um, an outline and uh, learning how the, pro the project was structured in terms of um, organizing uh, the, the uh, history of, of space biology, specific to the subject matter that um, we we're focusing on, um, different uh, ways to be involved with the project uh, in the context of uh, knowledge synthesis, uh, generating research questions, literature search. I'm going to more specifics of um, project structure, but um, um, educating the students uh, uh, how, um, how they would be involved uh, with this project. Um, um, what the specifics were, um, I highlighted the project was uh, focusing on cardiovascular system and outcomes with, uh, with rodents and people uh, when traveling in space. And uh, uh, our, th this uh, first phase of our project, uh, a pilot uh, project, um, uh, aimed to be a literature review, uh, screening meta-analysis of, of uh, these um, topics uh, from the space biology uh, field where uh, we were interested um, uh, to organize knowledge, uh, uh, the research done to date, uh, as well as understand the, um, the data uh, uh, changes in the specific uh, cardiovascular parameters I, I shared with you on the table a few moments ago. Um, and then uh, in turn, uh, understand how these outcomes may uh, may be tied with um, uh, additional adaptations that may be uh, occurring with, uh, with uh, biology or with, or with people in traveling in space. Um, so our, our, uh, our study's design in principle was a, a literature search re uh, review um, 
and uh, a screening for, for the relevant literature. Um, and then follow-up uh, phase being a data extraction and uh, additional analyses uh, 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 investigating uh, across studies um, uh, what was ongoing or what um, uh, new hypotheses in terms of what adaptations uh, were happening with these different studies. The uh, platform that we uh, had the opportunity to apply uh, with our uh, project was a uh, platform called Covidence, um, a screening meta-analysis pl platform that um, our, our uh, FEC librarians and uh, McGill uh, University librarians and various librarians um, uh, uh, collaborate and support us in, uh, in organizing the relevant um, um, literature and uh, importing these into Covidence. So this is just a, uh, an image of the, of the, um, of, um, um, one part of the of the platform before going to the screening component, um, with uh, the uh, uh, the screening component, including seeing the collection of uh, thousands of articles uh, from from uh, decades of, of research, organized um, uh, specifically uh, based off the search terms that uh, uh, we uh, researched and. Um, uh, we're interested in uh, focusing on with our uh, screening and meta-analysis study. Um, that, uh, and this is what our uh, citizen scientists, our, um, our uh, passionate uh, students, young professionals would see and uh, uh, would uh, in turn review uh, in, in pairs, in, in teams, um, and uh, review the, the literature, review the, the, uh, uh, the, the studies, and then identify the ones that um, uh, were relevant to our project's uh, uh, area of focus. Uh, so for example, here I have, and um, uh, what they would see would be uh, uh, initially titles, uh, abstract, um, based off search terms uh, uh, screen for our uh, uh, specific um, areas of, of, uh, of interest. Um, and uh, we, we, so we uh, screen, uh, the, the students and young professional screen for thousands of, of uh, articles where it was uh, absolutely incredible the the uh, the, the um, efficiency that we will identify specific um, studies uh, approximately 3,500 uh, at the end of of, uh, of our screening project um, of the uh, close to 20,000 initially that were uh, specific for the um, uh, the cardiovascular space biology. Uh, studies that we are interested in. Um, we also identified that um, that uh, doing comparison between, uh, in terms of uh, uh, proficiency of of, uh, of citizen scientists screening, um, uh, in terms of our um, instruction, that um, the number of articles, uh, the y-axis here is number of articles, with the x-axis um, uh, uh, for uh, citizen scientists that um, did not receive instruction, but then. Um, citizen scientists that received uh, approximately two weeks of instruction that the number of articles that they uh, uh, screened um, uh, increased uh, 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 several times by several times. Um, and in short, um, showed the, um, the, the, uh, the, the benefits of uh, learning um, and uh, being educated with regards to um, how to uh, uh, learn um, these uh, uh, screening meta-analysis, uh, citizen science approaches. Um, and uh, uh, so in summary, that um, uh, we, we uh, completed our uh, screening project um, with this approach, um, uh, which uh, uh, with, uh, with, us, uh, with a more traditional approach would have taken about two years approximately to complete uh, based off previous experience uh, with our pilot project completed within uh, six months. Um, and uh, a lot of lessons were learned. A lot of um, uh, uh, we are re refining our uh, citizen science project uh, based off of the the experience and um, uh, and the feedback from from our uh, uh, students, young professionals, uh, as well as um, uh, recently having the opportunity to share our uh, uh, preliminary uh, project um, experience at a uh, uh, citizen science um, uh, conference um, called uh, CSI. Um, which is a collection of, uh, of um, citizen science uh, projects, um, over 2,000 projects uh, with uh, uh, over a million volunteers and a number of members. Um, 
and I uh, received some really uh, uh, wonderful feedback and, uh, uh, in terms of um, how we could further evolve our, uh, this one example of our uh, citizen science uh, project, as well as um, um, uh, resources available f from, the citizen science, uh, uh, from the citizen science community to, um, um, uh, to add um, more layers to our uh, one uh, example citizen science project. Um, and we also had, um, uh, 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 so this is also in collaboration with uh, NASA's, NASA's Open Science for uh, Life in Space program. NASA has various um, uh, similar type projects. Uh, uh, one example being NASA Gene Lab, which is a collection of, uh, is a database where uh, users can, uh, so space biologists uh, 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 have uh, uploaded uh, data from their different experiments and um, and citizen scientists can um, uh, explore and investigate these uh, these data for uh, additional studies additional projects uh, additional analyses um, there's an ongoing uh, initiative to uh, uh, to collaborate uh, with um, uh, with uh, various uh, space biology researchers and uh, develop more uh, uh, in the context of um, uh, data management more um, uh, uh, cohesion in terms of ontology and approach across experiments um, that our uh, SOLSIS project uh, being a, a citizen science type initiative um, is also involved with in terms of, um, of, uh, of uh, uh, having uh, uh, citizen scientists involved with these, diff with these different type of projects. Um, and that's highlighted uh, by um, SOLSIS um, being a project um, um, that uh, NASA's Open Science for Life in Space is is um, uh, has been very supportive of um, of uh, uh, of of uh, uh, broadening and um, um, diversifying the the projects uh, that our pilot project uh, um, has shown um, success with. Um, so that was a, a summary of um, uh, our ongoing uh, citizen science project, and I wish to connect back with uh, Students for the Exploration Development of Space, a, uh, a student organization. Um, we have a chapter here at, uh, at uh, Florida State uh, University that had their first um, um, a meeting uh, back in 2022, but have had a number of uh, events since then. Uh, pictured here in, in the middle are uh, some students at a local uh, planetarium where uh, they had a uh, stargazing night and uh, a collection of uh, students from all sorts of different uh, backgrounds and, uh, and uh, 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 disciplines, um, uh, uh, from biology, from, uh, from engineering, from uh, business, from education. Um, uh, uh, really, a, a, a diverse uh, cohort of students um, having a, having a number of events, uh, uh, like um, going to a local planetarium. They hosted a three um, D printing workshop at the uh, Innovation Hub, where uh, students got to see and design and uh, and print um, uh, uh, um, uh, based off of uh, their their uh, in their design um, little little figurines. Um, as well as uh, ongoing um, uh, 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 projects like building a rocket, uh, 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 designing, building, and, and uh, flying a rocket, as well as um, developing uh, computational uh, program uh, models, as well as having various uh, monthly events, um, um, uh, reviewing the, the history of, um, of uh, our human space exploration efforts, like uh, Women's History Month and uh, Black History Month, in terms of uh, uh, and, and many more, uh, the various individuals that have uh, been involved with our uh, space exploration project, um, and have had active conversation, uh, uh, learning from our SOLSIS program, uh, 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 reviewing and exploring uh, citizen science project like the Hubble Space Telescope project I shared with you before. But now we have James Webb Space Telescope, which is uh, and then Kepler and various more, as as well as. Um, uh, additional uh, uh, projects and uh, uh, that uh, the citizen science community has in a number of different uh, subject area from uh, ecology to to uh, political science and uh, that uh, the students have found a really wonderful enriching learning experience to add to um, their uh, their courses add to their research experience to and to connect with their um, um, uh, with their uh, uh, with their ongoing uh, experience and uh, and programs that they're involved with um, so that's just being one example um, so in short, I, um, uh, I thank you all for your, for your time and attention, and uh, I really appreciate the opportunity to share a little bit about um, uh, the, the projects that we have ongoing and uh, my experience with NASA and uh, 
uh, and uh, my, my, uh, uh, my experience with NASA and uh, how it um, uh, provided a wonderful uh, set of opportunities for me as a first-gen academic uh, to learn what, what, it was like to be, uh, what it was like to be a scientist, an engineer, and uh, contribute in, in, in different ways, and also now support um, many more uh, students and young professionals in the context of, uh, of, uh, of uh, our research as well as through uh, citizen science, open science initiatives. So with that, I'm uh, happy to take any questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. I, I'm really interested in the citizen science projects that you talked mm -hmm. about, like Solstice. Mm -hmm. It's nice that, well, the space angle kind of helps to inspire people and capture their imagination and make them want to participate in these projects, right? But I'm wondering if there's a, an inherent problem with the massive number of sources of data you're dealing with, needing to organize and curate that data to make it useful. Is that a, is that a challenge for the project? Yes, that is a, a challenge and a, uh, a significant consideration that we make. And uh, the Covenants platform uh, provides us one mechanism to approach that um, in terms of if I were individually to review and um, analyze um, the 20,000 articles uh, uh, myself, then that uh, 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 that is a much more significant challenge than uh, through a platform like Covenants, which allows us to, um, uh, as a team, uh, re review that and uh, uh, break that uh, uh, challenge further. But um, that's where the um, the the, uh, the importance of uh, collaboration uh, and uh, the structure of our of our of our uh, uh, project team, um, having um, uh, subject matter experts, having. Uh, uh, having graduate trainees that are actively involved in doing the research, having uh, and then also having citizen scientists that um, um, are involved with in, in different capacities, and uh, so we also define our, our project where we have uh, uh, various team meetings, we have very uh, uh, evaluations, we have phases where we um, uh, uh, assess, reassess, and uh, evaluate um, and uh, uh, and error check, uh, and then also Covenants uh, has um, uh, also. Uh, uh, I failed to mention it, but also has um, AI ML uh, capabilities within in terms of aggreg aggregating uh, and organizing, uh, for example, uh, uh, based on search terms, seeing uh, Covenants will do this uh, naturally, uh, move those relevant articles first, uh, so those are seen first. Um, but the complete uh, uh, LaSalle library is still, uh, is still researched. Um, but um, so, and we, we're uh, uh, also still in a, in a pilot phase, so we're also still learning as well. But that's very much a uh, um, uh, a significant uh, factor that we consider. Thank you for the question. Hey, fabulous! Thanks, Dr. Riley. Exciting stuff. Um, so, this morning when I'm driving in, NPR had a story about uh, the James <laughs> Webb telescope and new results by looking at uh, certain chemical composition of Europa. Mm -hmm. Europa, if you remember, is the moon that at the end of 2001, a space odyssey, it's do not, humans are not allowed there. And uh, anyway, so this is exciting stuff. And then of course, last week was the capsule landing which had grabbed, you know, part of an asteroid uh, and, yes. and brought it back to Earth. So it, it's just exciting time to be be here and uh, and explore all of this. And if you haven't seen the movie Contact, which is based on a, a book by Carl Sagan, you need to watch the movie or read the book. I and mean, the book is better, but the movie is not bad, except that they changed the ending that I didn't, I didn't like. But anyway, it is still fantastic up until that point. Uh, so, <laughs> hey, we, I hope you're gonna keep us informed of all of these activities. We'd love to really appreciate that, Dean Riley. Uh, so I think that's, uh, all the time we have for questions. And thank you very much again, Dr. Narenyan. Thank you for having me.